Hey, welcome back. It's another Dueling Excel podcast. I'm Bill Jellin from Mr. Excel. I'm here live in the office of the master. Mike Excel is fun, Gervin, here at Highline Community College. This is our episode 99, Record Fill Down. All right, so, you know, my favorite trick, you have some little formula over here and you need to get that formula copied down. What do you do? You double click the fill handle to shoot it down. All right, great feature. Woohoo! Unfortunately, the macro recorder cannot cannot record that. Uh, so I'll record a macro. I'll just do Control A, click OK, and um, well, the caps lock was on. Control Shift A, I saw that. So equal two times that. Control Enter to stay in that cell. Double click the fill handle. All right? Everything should be good. We press Stop to stop recording. And then we play it back with Control Shift A. And we get an error. Right? How frustrating is that? It's trying to fill to some specific uh, area. So we click stop and we say, well, that's, uh, that's horrible. How can the <laughs> macro recorder not do that for us? And so uh, it was probably last week I came up with this method where I could actually use the macro recorder to do this. And it, it drove me a little bit crazy because I had to uh, have relative references off, start to record the macro. We'll do uh, control shift B there, click OK. And I put my heading in while relative was off, so there's my heading, and we'll press enter, and then my little formula equal two times this, All right? And then from there, I would go back to cell A1 with relative off, then turn relative on, now, control down arrow, control right arrow, right one more time, that gets me to the bottom of the column, control shift up arrow, and that's where I pulled out a feature that I didn't even know existed called control D to fill down and I was really happy that beautiful that, that one worked, right? That's where the dueling part comes in here. Mike, let's see what you have. Thanks, Mr. Excel. Oh, wow. So uh, I love that fill down. I mean, when I, I saw you do that a, a week ago, and I was just like, that's amazing. I have a slightly different way, but that, that control down and that fill down is pretty cool. Now, so uh, by the way, I didn't even know macros is on the view tab <laughs> I always go to the developer now the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to do relative the whole way and that means later when I invoke this macro I better start in the cell that's going to have the header All right so I say uh, header I better turn on the macro recorder. oh that helps yeah that's right okay. <laughs> so I'm going to come up here macro 3 I'm going to do control shift Q click OK all right so Cell selected. So when I type header, it put put whatever this word is in the active cell. I'm going to go down one, and then I'll do my formula. One cell to the left times whatever, whatever formula that is. Control enter, and now I'm going to copy. And now I'm noticing that this is relative. So when I left arrow, it's it's going back one column relative to that. Control down arrow will jump to the bottom of the current region, and that'll be recorded the same whether it's absolute or relative. Over one, that's a relative move. Now, that step I just did when I control down arrow, that'll go down to whatever the bottom of the table is. Now I'm going to control shift up arrow, control V, escape, and control home. All right, and then stop recording. Now if I come over here. If I were to do it over here, it wouldn't work. So I'm going to be sure that's the thing about recording it all uh, relative like that. Control Shift Q, and we go to a, a different size data set. Control Shift Q, uh, it works just fine. Come over here. If I Control Shift Q, this will be bad. <laughs> you don't ever want to do that. So that's the one drawback to doing the, the offset the whole way like that. Uh, all right, uh, number 99. 99. Boy, I hope we do another one. That would be cool. We could actually uh, hit 100. 100? 100. You think we'll get to 100? I don't know. <laughs> With the track record we're having tonight, it might be another year before we get to 100. All right, well, hey, I want to thank everyone for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another netcast from Mr. Excel. And Excel is fun.